Cardinals fans, welcome to Bush Stadium for a great Sunday in St. Louis. I'm John Rooney, and I'm part of the radio broadcast team on KMOX and the great Cardinal Radio Network. And the last time I was here, I was emceeing Mike Shannon's retirement. And thinking of Mike today, Adam, he would have enjoyed this day immensely, big boy. We welcome you to the ceremony of number 50, Uncle Charlie, Adam Wainwright. As St. Louis and Yogi Berra said, it feels like deja vu all over again. Last year, we celebrated the final season of two of the greatest players to wear the Cardinal uniform. Number four, Yadier Molina, and number five, Albert Pujols. Today, we celebrate the third member of the great Cardinals trio. Also one of the greatest players to ever wear the birds on the bat, but more importantly, maybe one of the finest human beings to ever wear the Cardinal uniform. When Adam won his 200th career game, he told us all that he loves that Cardinal uniform. He loves the city, but he loves you fans dearly. Well, sooner or later, we knew we'd have to come to this point. In the past few seasons, we knew our time with Uncle Charlie was getting shorter. From the start of last season, when Adam walked out on opening day arm in arm with Yachty and Albert, we knew that we were really in for an emotional ride. These last two seasons with Adam have brought us some of the best moments of his career, which they've left an incredible image, just considering his time in the uniform that spans nearly two decades including 29 postseason appearances and two strikeouts that rank near the top in Cardinals history. And I can see the one at Shea Stadium in my mind right now where he, he threw the knee-buckling curveball that froze Carlos Beltran to clinch the 2006 National League pennant. But he wasn't done. No, no. He was able to strike out Brandon Inge and made the Cardinals 2006 World Series champions. And today, on this final day of the 2023 season, we're here to celebrate that fantastic career and to recognize one of the most beloved players in Cardinals history. We've assembled friends, family, teammates, coaches, managers, and obviously, Hall of Famers. And it's going to be nice to see Adam wearing his own red jacket here in a few years in St. Louis. The people up here today will help celebrate the great baseball career of Adam Wainwright. But they'll also be celebrating the great man who is Adam Wainwright. To everyone watching on Valley Sports Midwest, Listening in over KMOX, the Cardinals radio network, and our Spanish broadcast, thank you very much for joining us for this great ceremony. And let's start the farewell celebration for Adam Wainwright, and we start by meeting the people on the field here with us today. The man of the hour, he's sitting beside his family. Please welcome the Wainwrights, Adam, Jenny, Bailey, Morgan, Sadie and Caleb. And Macy. Don't want to forget Macy. What a day it is, Macy. Thank you. And sitting behind them, Adam's mom, Nancy. Adam's brother, Trey. Jenny's parents, Mimi and Jim. And two special men in Adam's life, Steve Hammond and Don Christensen. And please welcome the guest list of men that have meant a lot to Adam throughout his journey in baseball and life for the past two decades. Friends and teammates, Jaime Garcia, Blaine Boyer, Jason Standridge, Jake Westbrook, Brayton Looper, 
Shane Robinson, Kelly Johnson, Jason Markey, friend and community partner Scott Linebrink. In addition to his guests on the field, please joining us, join us now in welcoming more of Adam's friends, family, celebrating from the suites in 213 and 214. Welcome to this great day. And back on the field at Bush Stadium, Cardinals Chairman of the Board, Mr. Bill DeWitt, Jr. <laughs> Cardinals President Bill DeWitt III. President of Baseball Operations, John Mozeliak. <laughs> Cardinals Manager, Oliver Marble. <laughs> Since his call up in 2005, Adam has had the privilege of playing with five Cardinals Red Jacket Hall of Famers. Please welcome these Cardinal Hall of Famers here today to help us celebrate Adam's great day. Teammate Jason Isringhausen. <laughs> Cardinals and Baseball Hall of Famer teammate Scott Rowland. <laughs> teammate Chris Carpenter. And Cardinal Hall of Famers, Major League Baseball Hall of Famers, first ballot Hall of Famer, number one, Ozzie Smith. Also joining us today, Ted Simmons, Whitey Herzog, Adams manager from 2005 to 2011, Tony La Russa. Author and Cardinals fan John Grisham is here with us today. We also recognize all of the Cardinals players and staff from the home dugout, as well as the Cincinnati Reds in the visitors' dugout, managed by David Bell. And today's celebration of Adam Wainwright would not be complete without welcoming back two individuals who had their own celebrations just a year ago. Let's welcome back number five and number four, Albert Pujols and Yadier Molina. How about that for a moment? And also joining us today, one of Adam's teammates, Kyle McClellan, is here with us for this celebration. And now please welcome, to help secure their place in St. Louis history, the mayor of St. Louis, the Honorable Tishara Jones. Mayor Jones has brought a proclamation for Adam to recognize his greatness and to secure his name in St. Louis history. Mayor Jones, please join Adam and stand next to the proclamation. The proclamation reads, whereas the city of St. Louis is proud to join with the St. Louis Cardinals to recognize the legacy and historic career of professional baseball player Adam Wainwright, and whereas Uncle Charlie will be forever remembered by fans in St. Louis as one of the most popular players in team history whose leadership, competitiveness, cheerfulness, and love for the game was revered by teammates and opponents alike and led him to become the third most winningest pitcher in Cardinal annals. And whereas, on behalf of the people of St. Louis, it is my great pleasure to celebrate the legendary career of Adam Wainwright and honor him as one of the great ambassadors for the St. Louis region and baseball fans worldwide. 
Now, therefore, I, Tashara O. Jones, Mayor of the City of St. Louis, do hereby proclaim October 1st, 2023, to be known as Adam Wainwright Day in the City of St. Louis. Thank you, Mayor. And now let's hear from some of this distinguished group here today to honor Adam Wainwright, beginning with the Cardinals Chairman of the Board, Mr. Bill DeWitt, Jr. Thanks, John. For 19 seasons, Adam Wainwright has worn the birds on the bat with pride, dignity, and competitive fire. The ace of the staff, the leader in the clubhouse, two-time 20-game winner, three-time All-Star, four-time top three Cy Young finalist, an MLB record, 325 starts, together with Yadier. A 200-game winner, and what a moment that was to cap off his career pitching seven innings in a, in a one nothing shutout. Over the 140-plus years of Cardinals history, Adam ranks third in wins, innings pitched, and winning percentage, and he ranks second in quality starts and strikeouts. He's pitched in two National League Wild Card Series, seven Division Series, five National League Championship Series, and two World Series. These achievements on the field are elite major league accomplishments, but off the field and in the dugout, he's in a class by himself. He's honest and sincere after wins and losses. He keeps the clubhouse atmosphere positive and uplifting. He connects with everyone, from the rookies to the veterans, from the support staff to the coaches to the front office. Today is bittersweet because of a wonderful chapter comes to a close. But first and foremost, today is a celebration of a man who gave everything he had to this franchise and this community. Adam, I am confident your next act will be equally successful as you take the music world by storm or join the broadcasting booth What a concert last night. That was unbelievable. Or tackle the more challenging golf courses throughout the world. But remember this, you will always be welcome back home as an all-time great St. Louis Cardinals. Thank you very much. Now let's hear from Cardinals President of Baseball Operations, John Mozeliak. Yeah, I thought you were saying Newt Bar. When I'm asked about Adam Wainwright, how best to describe him? Competitive. I've never met anyone who hates losing more than him, which refers to baseball, golf, fantasy football, or any other game he might play, even with his kids. <laughs> Talented. We know what he did on the mound, we hear what he can do behind the mic, either on stage or in the booth. Frankly, there is nothing he cannot do. Optimistic. Even when things are not going well, 
He would tell me he was just one pitch away from being great. And you know what? He believed that. As we stand here today, a page will be turned, and we will begin a new chapter. As we reflect back on his 19 years in the big leagues and what you meant to the St. Louis Cardinals organization, we know this, you will be missed. You always made me smile. I will miss hearing, hi, Mr. Moe. You made us all smile. During your time here, we are all grateful for what you did for this organization and what you meant to this city. Bueno, most of all, I'm grateful to call you a friend. The best to you and your family. Thank you. Now from one ace to another, ladies and gentlemen, Cardinals Hall of Famer, Cy Young Award winner, and World Series champion, Chris Carpenter. First of all, I wanted to start with, I don't know who's here last night, but how much fun was that, and how good is he? You know, he showed up in our clubhouse as a young kid in 2004, and Adam shared a story with me that some of the staff wanted him to sit by me and follow me around to make or hope for him to see what it looks like to be a pro. <clears throat> we shared many times together, many great times on the field, many great times off the field. I was honored that he thought and looked at me as a pro. But the story that I want to share Because it really doesn't matter what happens out here. It's important. It's important for our fans. It's important for our organization. And I love this Cardinals nation. I love this community. <clears throat> but we talk about mentoring. You hear about all the great things that he's done on the field. But the most important thing is the type of human he is. He continued to invest in me without me even knowing it. And on April 14th, 2010, I showed up in the clubhouse with a Bible sitting on my chair in my locker. It changed my life. <clears throat> it's the Bible I read out of today. I thank him for all the journeys on the field that we spent together, but I ultimately thank him. The most important thing was that I, I love him. His friendship to me means the world. I know that he's going to do great things. I mean, he's proven that no matter what he's doing, he's great. Jenny, I, I hope you can deal with all the free time because um, he's going to drive you nuts. Kids. You have two amazing parents to look up to. People that care about human beings, that care about people. I tell my kids all the time, it doesn't matter what you do. It's how you leave it and how you touch people. 
and he touches people all over this world. <clears throat> So I know that he'll continue to do it. I'm looking forward to spending multiple years when he gets to put on this red, co red coat every day when we come back. And I'm looking forward to his next chapter. I love you, Adam, and good luck. Last year at this time, we celebrated the great careers of Yadier Molina and Albert Pujols. And Adam Wainwright came to the podium to talk about those wonderful careers and the times he had with those two wonderful gentlemen. And in return, we call Albert Pujols to the podium on this day for Adam Wainwright. Albert. Thank you very much. It seems like it was yesterday, about a year ago, that Adam was standing up here saying my goodbye and celebrating my career. And today, I'm doing the same thing. I'm so blessed to be here and to celebrate with you this special moment. We can talk about what you've done in the postseason. We can talk about all the accomplishments in the field. What might impress me the most and what touched me the most is the person that you are. You're not only a great father, a great husband, but a great brother in Christ. And for me, that's what I appreciate the most about you. I know that thanks to you and Jari, I was able to wear this uniform back last year. So thank you for all the face time too. I want to thank you for the impact, like Carp would say, that you didn't even know that you were making. A veteran guy a couple of years in the league. We got this young guy from Atlanta. We knew what we were getting. You just, just quiet. Guy that will respect the game, honor the game, and I'm so proud to be able to wear the same field, to take the same field and wear the same uniform as you. I'm glad that you're a great listener too, because two weeks ago I was here and I asked you, please don't wait three more months to win 200. So thank you for that. And I'm sure the fans are thank you also. I'm going to close with this. And I can speak on behalf of myself, Jari, the guys that play with you, but all the guys over there, your teammates, they are so proud and honor you to have your, your teammate. You work at it, you respect that you have for everyone, and it didn't matter if this guy was pitching that day. He comes in, every pitcher has a different program. But he comes in, say hello, and he goes about his business. And the next day, you wouldn't know if Adam went right, won a game or lost a game. He was the same guy every single day. And that's something that I look at it, and I wanted to be like it. So my brother, thank you so much for helping me to have great success in the field also, and for some winning the championship. And thank you for continuing to wear and mentor all those young guys over there. So bless you. Bless you, Jenny, and good luck to you guys uh, the next chapter of your life. Love you, brother. Thank you. What would a farewell, farewell ceremony be without parting gifts, right? Please welcome to the podium the president of Cardinals, Bill DeWitt III. Thanks, John. 
Before I present the gifts, I'd like to just say what a pleasure it has been for me to get to know Adam over these many years. You've heard all about his excellence on the field and in the clubhouse and in the community, but I'd also like to note that he's been generous with his time and helping us on the business side of things with promotional support, doing great funny commercials to help us sell tickets and promote the club. It's very meaningful to our hardworking staff to have a player that just gets it like that, so thank you. The first, um, the first gift is actually a holdover from last year. Adam, after you and Yadi set the battery record last season, after the year ended, and we didn't really have an opportunity to get you two together, so today, We'd like to present both of you a silver Tiffany bowl that has a Cardinals logo and an inscription on it. If you guys would maybe go over there together. The inscription on the bowl reads, and it's the same for both, Presented to Adam Wainwright and Yadier Molina by the St. Louis Cardinals, commemorating their record-setting 328 starts as a battery on October 2, 2022. The next one, um, Adam, one of your passions is to give back, and you've done so much in the St. Louis community, but we also know that you're passionate about areas in the world that are severely impoverished, particularly in Latin America. So we connected with Scott Linebrink, who is here today with Water Mission, and who you have worked with before on mission projects. Scott and Adam, if you would step over there next to that red banner. Uh, Kat, would you please do the honors? And Shelby? So the Cardinals, along with Cardinals Care, are donating $100,000 for a water well and filtration project in your name. The project is in El Progreso, Honduras, and it will provide clean water service to approximately 1,500 people. The next gift, Adam, you probably could have predicted, especially given our fan giveaway item today. Alyssa, can you pull that one out of the box? We contacted your producer, Gary Baker, to get a recommendation on a guitar. He suggested a Gibson Les Paul that you would really love. And we, uh, we found an artist, Greg Stump of Axis Paint, to paint it with the Cardinals logos. And on the back are images of personal notes to you that your kids wrote themselves. And we'll let those be personal for you. But I have a feeling you're going to put this one to good use. <laughs> the next gift, oh, next page. Next up is kind of a personal one for me, Adam. As you and I have discussed, we both love what we do in the game of baseball, but we also have other interests and passions. Your big one is country music, so you decided to learn how to play and write songs and just get out there and do it. And that has been inspirational to me with my side interest of painting and learning how to be an artist. You will recall last year I recruited an artist to do a cool modern portraits of Yachty and Albert as their gifts. But this year, 
In that spirit of just going for it, just like you did last night, I decided to paint this picture myself, not the one that just fell. Uh, Shelby, please do the honors. So I hope you like this original Bill DeWitt painting of Adam Wainwright. <laughs> The final gift is something that has been in the works for a little while as a secret. We've been working on it with your wife, Jenny, because as you will see, we needed her to sign off on this one. And she's going to help us present this one to you and your whole family. This is also something the kids don't know about either. Jenny? <laughs> it's a little puppy. I hope it's still in there. And I can assure you it's not a stuffed animal, although it does look like one. The breed is a Lugato Romagnolo which is an Italian truffle hunter dog. So maybe he'll dig up some truffles in your backyard. I want to thank the breeder, Kimberly Schaefer, who's here from Ohio, to make the handoff. Jenny's already named him. His name is Louie. And our friends at Purina have prov provided a gift basket for you to have everything you need to get him acclimated to the Wainwright family. So we'll get a family picture with you and the, and the dog, and then uh, back to you, John. What a day. And let's welcome to the podium musician, dog owner, soon to be a Cardinals Hall of Famer, and one of the greatest Cardinals of all time, number 50, Adam Wainwright. I appreciate it, y'all. I'll try to keep this quick because I know we got a game in 10 minutes and Miles is down there trying to get locked in. I see you down there, Miles. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess it's official. I got a dog, so I am officially retired. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Tell you what, seeing all these wonderful people here in the stands, you know, I can't, uh, can't feel a bigger feeling of blessing just in being a St. Louis Cardinal for this long. 
Being a St. Louis Cardinal at all is a blessing, but to do it for 18 plus years in front of this crowd and this stadium and this city, I wouldn't change anything in the world for that. I love y'all so much. Thank you for embracing me. And I cannot wait to come back next year and see confetti on this field when the St. Louis Cardinals win a, a World Series championship. <laughs> to all the people who came here today, who are up in the suites and down here in these chairs. Uh, by the way, Kyle McClellan's here. We missed you earlier. My buddy Kyle McClellan. Um, I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting me over the years. The guys, I wouldn't have got through these many years, but especially this year without such an amazing support staff. Y'all don't even know. I've told you a little bit, but the guys in that dugout over there and the coaching staff, our great president, they poured into me in times that I was the lowest of low. They text messaged me late at night and early in the morning because they couldn't sleep because they cared so much about me and what I was doing. And they believed in me. And they believed in me in times where I couldn't have done it by myself. And so I thank everybody in there and everybody out here who got me through the toughest times of my life for sure. How great is it to see Yadier Molina back out here? Sorry. I love you, brother. <laughs> Enjoy retirement. Deserve it. Everybody say what an amazing person you are. Yes, you are an amazing person. Thank you for all the help you give me. I say I love you, brother. You're still my brother. And you always will be my brother. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. You know what? I want that relationship for every pitcher out there with their catcher. I want that for every catcher out there. That's special, man. I've, I've always said one of the most important and wonderful things about my entire career was that I got to play catch every fifth day with Yadier Molina. But you know what, I wouldn't be here. I had some of the most incredible mentors when I first got here. You're talking about five Red Jacket Hall of Famers, but so many other Hall of Famers behind the scenes, you know, that got me through it, that taught me how to be a pro, taught me what time to show up, taught me what time to get on the bus, it taught me how to dress, taught me how to act and how to speak and when to speak and when not to speak. All that I learned from these guys that are pros. Amazing, amazing teachers, amazing mentors. Chris Carpenter poured into me in ways you can't believe. Taught me how to be a pitcher. It's one thing to be a thrower. It's another whole thing to be a pitcher, and he taught me that. <laughs> then lastly, before we go, thank you, Cardinals organization. Thank you for Mr. DeWitt. Thank you, Mr. Mo. Thank you, other Mr. DeWitt. Ollie, thank you, buddy. But I got to thank my family. I have the most amazing wife in the whole world. Jenny Wainwright, she's amazing. Can y'all believe this? I've been dating my wife since my junior year of high school. I tell her this all the time, but I fell in love with her in the eighth grade. Isn't that awesome? My oldest daughter, Bailey Grace, who was on the stage here when we won the World Series in 06. My daughter, Morgan, 
my daughter Macy, my daughter Sadie, and my little boy Caleb, and my little dog Louie. I know I got, I got one minute, I know. They're playing the music. Um, back when it all began, my dad left home when I was three years old. My mom raised me up all by herself. She did amazing. the mentors I've mentioned so far can't hold a candle to my big brother Trey. He taught me how to throw the curveball by the way. He's the reason. He's the reason. My father-in-law, Jim, and my mother-in-law, Mimi, are here. Thank you for letting me date and then marry your, the most amazing woman in the world. Y'all did a great job raising her up. And lastly, my two spiritual advisors that have poured into me more than anyone else spiritually and taught me the, the Bible, taught me God's Word, Don Christensen, my financial advisor and great friend, and Steve Hammond, my agent and my best friend. You can't imagine. Imagine being a pro athlete and their two biggest mentors are their financial planner and their, and their agent. <laughs> Lastly to y'all, thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank you so much for this day. I can't believe that I don't deserve this, right? I feel special. Y'all are amazing. I love you so much. I can't wait to spend a lot of years back here in Cardinals country rooting on World Series champions over and over.